Hey, it's the Terminian Hero here, and we're playing some more Crash Bandicoot Warped. I have now got all of the Platinum Relics, and um, once you actually get everything in all of the levels aside from the two secret levels, uh, you will have reached 100%, and all the entrances to all the levels will disappear because we have to fight the final boss again. Uh, so yeah, I had to do the two the time trials for the two secret levels before doing the last one here, and then I also had to uh, reload my save file if I got anything less than a platinum relic on the final level here, because. Uh, uh, because, yeah, the levels disappear, but also, I wasn't able to save between videos. You know why? Because I wanted to show this on camera. Nice fireworks show. Uh, yeah, once you have a gold relic on every level, Coco gives you a secret gem. Now, uh, you can't get past 99% completion until you've done everything outside of the, the secret levels. But once you've, uh, once you've done everything outside of those secret levels, then it'll act, then the game will actually keep track of what you got in the secret levels as far as percent completion goes. So that extra 5% is the two gems and two relics from the secret levels as well as the gem from getting all of the um all of the gold relics. So I'm just going to save my game here now. Look at that icon there. That is adorable. Little fake Yoshi there. <laughs> T. Yoshisaurus Munchakoopas. And there we go. Now all we got to do is face off with Cortex one more time. It is true! The Bandicoot has brought all of the crystals and all of the gems to me! Ultimate power is mine! The world as we know it is about to end! And it's the exact same boss fight. Which is kinda dumb, but you do get that extra line of dialogue there. Uh, this isn't the... This definitely isn't the first game, or only game ever, at least, to uh, make you fight the final boss twice. But whatever, he's easy, so we can take him just fine. This should be a quick fight. know all his attack patterns already, so there's not really much he can do to us unless he decides to throw a mine straight on my head, which he does do sometimes. Two hits down, just one final hit to go. At this point, pretty much all I have to do is run. Oh my gosh, okay. Like I said, sometimes he likes to throw mines straight on your head. Well, time to start that whole fight over when we were right at the end of it. It's so dumb. Because, like, what are you supposed to do when he does that? 
Like, you don't know where he's gonna throw the mines ahead of time, and it's not like he's specifically targeting you, he's just trying to throw them somewhere on the battlefield. It's a bit dumb, but whatever. And obviously you don't want to fall down that hole yourself, I never mentioned that, but yeah. It also looks like that's the only place you can fall, you can't actually go out the front here. The fourth wall is in fact there. Alright, now as long as we don't get a mine dropped on our head again, we should have this. He almost threw that one on my head, but... He's done, there is nothing he can do. No! He cut on me! Not a prisoner of time again! The Time Twister machine could not hold itself together. We were lucky to escape. Give me the mask! With it I shall take over the world! Come on! Ah. It is difficult to say ah. what has happened to our ah. enemies. But I doubt we will see them for a long time. <laughs> yeah. Well, you say we won't see them for a long time, but they're, they're all grown up again already in Crash Team Racing, although we don't see Entrophy again for a while. But, <laughs> yeah, so we turned Cortex and Entrophy into babies. Wonderful. Uh, anyways, so that is Crash Bandicoot Warped. Uh, this is the 100% ending. You don't need a full 105% to get it. You just need to have done everything that's not in the secret levels. And yeah, so. That's pretty much it. I'll upload the time trial videos later. We've got a few more things to show here and there. I'm not done with this video yet either, because I've got some secrets to show off. And look here, we... oh. I saw a number and I thought that it was something else. Never mind, you can look later. Uh... So anyways, I guess I'll just say, uh, Crash Team Racing will be my next Crash game. But that won't be for a little while. Um, my next Zelda game will be A Link to the Past. My next non-Zelda Nintendo game will be Super Metroid. My next non-Nintendo game will be um, Rayman 2 for the PlayStation 1. And... Um, yeah, I'm still gonna be doing multiplayer stuff with Wild Shiny Kirby, I'm still gonna be doing fan games, I'm uh, still gonna be doing Operation Nostalgia, where I play games that I got rid of as I grew up, you know, games like, based off of, 
you know, old TV shows I used to watch or like Disney movies or something that I felt like I was too old for or something and going back and revisiting those after all these years. So yeah, I'll be doing all that. If you look on the screen here, uh, these are all developer times where someone from, uh, someone who helped make the game played the level and got the best time they could. And they got some ridiculous times to beat, way harder to beat than the Platinum Relics, but you don't get anything for beating them. I'm not sure if I beat any of them on my run. I know that in Tell No Tales, I would have beat the developer time if I didn't miss this one specific time crate. But yeah, I, I did, I'm not really sure if I beat any of them but you'll see my time trial videos later, so I guess I'll just check when I upload them. And we're back here now. And time to show off those secrets. The first thing we want to do is go back to Toad Village here, the very first level in the game. Um, I'm not sure what needs to happen in order to see this Easter egg, but I'm not sure if you need to get 100% or 105% or whatever. But either way, once you've done a ton of stuff, once you've basically done everything this game has to offer, uh, you wanna go a bit of a ways into this level. I wanna pass the bonus, I know. Oh, I almost actually died there. And we wanna go past the next checkpoint. And we should be almost there. If we look to the right here, uh, we can see the first ever appearance of Fake Crash. Uh, it's kind of hard to see them very well here, but yeah, uh, there's Fake Crash doing some sort of a dance, and yeah, just off in front of that house there, in case you, I'm sure you could see it, but whatever. Uh, I'm just gonna exit the level now, and. There's actually two other places where Fake Crash appears. He appears in three levels once you do, you know, everything there is to do in this game. And a little bit about Fake Crash. The story... So yeah, now we're going to Making Waves, because he's also in here. The story behind Fake Crash is that uh, there was some crash toy in Japan... Like, I don't think it was an official crash toy. I think it, uh, someone just tried to make some sort of a rip-off of a crash toy or something. And people at Naughty Dog in Japan, uh, thought that the toy looked really funny. So they kept it in their office. And... And... Uh, when they were making Crash Warped, they decided to, uh, yeah, they decided to put Fake Crash in, and now he's, he's been in quite a few Crash games at this point, honestly. He's usually some sort of a secret character, but there's one game where he's not a secret character, but it'll be a while before we see that one. So from here, we can see Fake Crash much more easily. Uh, fun fact, not the it's not the dance that Fake Crash is doing, but the dance that Crash does when he wins a level. Or, or not when he wins a level, but you know, his victory dance. You know what his victory dance is. I'm pretty sure that... Uh, that victory dance came from a Japanese uh, commercial for Crash. 
it didn't actually originate from the games. There, uh, I think there's like one or two games where Fake Crash is actually a major, well, yeah, I don't know about a major character, but an important character. But anyways, there's only one level left to check out Fake Crash. And that would be here on Hog Ride. Yeah, you thought we'd never be racing through here again? Well, you were wrong, except you're kinda right, because we're not really racing anymore. We just wanna go see Fake Crash. Which will be super easy to do, right? No problems will get in the way. It'll be super fine. You just, you just see Fake Crash and it'll be great, you know? No issues. So anyways, we want to get to the end of this straight away here. And shortly before the turn... Uh... Yeah, there he is. Fake crash. Like, right next to us, right on that light brown part. Uh, you can see him nice and easily. He's actually, you know, because of our small... Because of where we have a different character model here, being on the motorcycle, Fake Crash is actually a lot bigger than us here. He's huge. I mean, look at him. Uh... So in case you're not seeing Fake Crash, which you aren't, that's because this specific appearance for some reason uh, doesn't appear in the American version of the game. I think it's only in PAL versions. So yeah, unfortunately, I can't really show this one off, but he is there in the PAL version of the game, so uh, yeah. And that's pretty much that. Uh, yeah, I don't really have much else to show off. Uh, I mentioned before that I recently found out that, uh, there's actually demos you can unlock in these games for, like, other Crash or Spyro games, so... I guess I might be showing those off if they seem to be worth showing off. I don't really know what the demos are like. But, yeah. And of course, my time trial videos will be coming out, even though I already recorded them. And I'll need to do a boss bash video, which means I'm gonna be playing the whole game again. Uh... So yeah, um, that's it. I'm the Terminian Hero, and I will see you for something else. <laughs>